Pedot's test. Pedot's test. Uh, Pedot's test is a general measure of SI function. Uh, your patient's position is going to be standing for this particular maneuver. The doctor's position is usually seated in a chair behind you. Your segmental contact points is going to be both PSISs. So in essence, to find it, I can bisect the iliac crest for the most part, the top of the iliac crest. I can wheeze you out down, both PSISs. Once you find them, you would like to get tissue pulled from S to I so you can lock on to those PSISs. From there, you're going to direct the patient to bend forward at the waist slowly. As they bend forward at the waist, what's happening is the following. The lumbar spine begins to become, for the most part, we begin to flex the lumbar spine. The sacrum begins to nutate between the two ilia. Yes. Once the slack is taken out of the SI joint complex and along with the ilium, as they continue to bend forward, the entire pelvis begins to rotate anteriorly. If all things are normal, both PSISs should elevate simultaneously. What we're looking for in this sign is it's considered the side of joint dysfunction. Is the side that, or the PSIS that elevates prematurely over the other one. They don't raise together, one raises before the other. The side that raises first is considered to be the side of dysfunction. Because this joint is restricted and doesn't have the mobility, it begins to move when the sacrum begins to anteriorly rotate as they bend forward and therefore elevates first. So therefore the side of dysfunction is the side that actually elevates first. So if your patient, just have them standing before you, if I could. These are tiny. Doctor's going to sit behind. Is it okay if I just expose this area here, just level the PSIS? Yes. They don't need stability for this since they're just going to bend over. So I palpate posteriorly along the iliac crest or windshield wiper down on the PSIS. I'm going to take tissue pull from S to I, so I lock onto these. Tara, if I could, I'm going to ask you to bend slowly forward at the waist, and then come back up. Once again, it's not something you visually see, it's something you feel in your hands. Okay, once again. And then come back up. In Tara's case, I feel her left hand side begins to elevate slightly before her right does, so we're looking at being the left side as a side of dysfunction. The dose side. Thank you very much.